Hey guys, Pablo with BND, and today we start a new slot in our channel, Reddit, Insane People Facebook. And today we're going to be covering five different Insane People Facebook from Reddit. We'll be looking from everything from how Hollywood is trying to turn us away from religion, all the way to a dead threatened of murder for vaccinating his kid. So let's begin. <music> And our first post is titled, well, that explains it. The statue on the left is the Egyptian god Fat, the creator god of the underworld, holding the rod of dominion. The one on the right is given the name Oscar, also from a place near the underworld called Hollywood. And he too wants to have dominion. Both are an abomination to the true and living God, Jesus the Christ. Think about it. Well, I actually thought about it. And follow your principle. I realized that Disney was a visionary that actually saw Apple taking over the world and poison our people. Oh yeah, and that women are the devil as well. See, guys, that's one of the biggest problems in the world right now. People have agendas, and they do everything they can to move people towards their beliefs. It doesn't matter how far-fetched their points are. It doesn't matter if they have to completely disregard science, if they have to disregard the Bible in the opposite side. Um, but that's all that is. It's a conspiracy, and you always find some idiot that actually believes on that. And our next post is called, That's probably not advisable. A scene through movement. Please help. Doc just told me I have group B strap. I'm almost 30 weeks and I'm a wreck. I don't take antibiotics. I have bad reactions to meds. I'm terrified. I don't want my baby to die. I don't know what to do. I started drinking probiotics every day. Crushed up garlic the last three days and swallowed it. I even put a garlic clove in my JJ <laughs> LMAO. Couldn't get it out and fricked. Also... Take an apple cider vinegar baths. Please help. Any advice at all? Yes, love. I have a great advice for you. You're doing everything wrong. Garlic cloves are not for group B strap. You have to get a pineapple, but none of that chip stuff. You have to actually get organic pineapple because... You don't want those chemicals getting on your body, and you have to make sure to insert it crown first. Don't forget it, crown first, or it's not going to work. Those people, man. Those people. Our next post is called, There is a lot to unpack here. It's official. My son's teacher... Globe tart propagandists expressing charges. It's a long story, but basically I went to the school to set him straight about the lies he was feeding these kids because my son had to ask for a globe for Christmas a couple of months ago. So I was already on edge. But it escalated beyond the point of no return when, I, when he asked for a NASA. Neoliberal android selling already disproven BS t-shirt today at Old Navy. Anyway, one thing led to another. I asked if he was vaccinated. He called me a wacko, so I punched him in the face. And now I'm getting charged. Are there any flat earth lawyers in here that could help me out? Pro bono, please. 
Ever since my globetard wife left because my conspiracies were tearing this family apart, money being a little tight, dance not advance. You know, I know I think it was bad enough that the guy was a flatter. On top of that, his anti-vax and God knows what else. You know, it, it, that's why they always say. I just really hope people like that stop procreating because if they keep going, people holding signs that the ants near are actually going to be the same people. And our next post is called People Suggesting Murder for a Dad That Got His Kid Vaccinated. I am livid. I appealed the decision to vaccinate to Kay. And his dad freaking took him behind my back. He got eight shots. I need lots of prayers and peace or I'm going to freaking jail. Oh, you might want to have him killed to prevent any further shots. I'm so sorry. And even though I don't condemn murder, it might be necessary in your case. Road trip? Let's go get him. You grab. And now we'll help this fool meet God. Praying. Oh no. Sounds like he couldn't wait to get them. I'm so sorry. Cilantro therapy. TRS. Detox bats. OMFG. I can't imagine what you're feeling right now. Detox ASAP. Ugh. This man is a predator who clearly wanted to torture and cause harm to his son. This tactic is very common among separated parents and is typically a vengeful ex. In some cases... They do not like child support, which I would always suggest giving up for a signed agreement that they never have any rights, medical or otherwise. I'm so sorry. I likely would have done something to end a piece of trash like this guy. So I understand your feelings. Prayers for your child. I was also wondering if he might be a Cluster B personality. I'd freaking kill him. But don't do that. Your baby needs you. But if you do, shoot to kill. Cause that man tells no tales. I literally can't breathe right now. Our child father needs to catch AIDS. Someone inject him already. All right, guys, I just have to say that's pretty insane. I mean, even if I don't agree with anti-vax people, um, that's fine. The father probably should have tried to discuss with the mother, but he's also the dad, so he still has rights, and he was probably worried about his kid. But on Facebook... People actually planning a murder? That's just freaking insane. I mean, I really hope I knew this guy so I could send him these screenshots. So if something happened to him, you know who is going to jail and not alone. And our last post of today. Yup. Just a reminder. Did you know that every single person you have sex with lives their spirit on you? Some men and women have very bad demons. That's why it ain't good to lie up and sleep with everybody. Then you wonder why you bipolar. Or ever since you've been dating this one person, you lost more than you gained. He or she has put a demon in you. That is whole focus is to make sure you're blinded by the sex 
and not by all the things you lose in life. Be careful who you love and give your body to. Hallelujah. So, if he is correct, and knowing that a human soul weighs approximately 6 grams, does that mean that fat people have more sex than skinny people? Think about it. Guys, that's it for today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a like or dislike. Smash that bell notification sign. And I'll be seeing you every Monday with new Reddit posts and every Friday with the Veterans View. Thank you and have a great day.